Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Monday morning, hoping all is well with you. Today, I'm going to be getting on an airplane and I'm going to be flying to Washington, D.C. from Albany, New York. And I had to look up Kratom information, of course. Technically, there's nothing illegal about flying with Kratom in this circumstance. So I'm planning on taking some with me, um, but I'm not planning on taking a lot. And I'm trying to figure out what the best method would be. At first, I was thinking, well, technically, there's nothing wrong with bringing it, and you can even bring a bag that's been opened with it. So, you know, I could just bring the batch that I have with me. And of course, I'm not actually like that worried about it. But at the same time, why bother risking it, right? Like why bother having to deal with, you know, having a bag that's already opened with Kratom in it and having to spend any time, waste any time having to worry about that or talking through it with a TSA person. Ultimately, I know I'll be fine, but I'm not the sort of person who thinks that that's kind of worth the experience. So what I am planning to do is take some of the Kratom out of the bag that I currently have and put it into some capsules. And I have this other type of Kratom that I don't ever use. So I'm, you know, I'm sorry, it's probably bad, but I'm going to just dump that uh, out of some of the capsules and put in this type that I do use a lot. And, you know, I, I am thinking that that's probably better to have it in capsules and then to have the capsules um, in the bag that the capsules came from. So, you know, yes, it'll be an open bag still, but it's an open bag with capsules that are, you know, containing the Kratom pretty well. And it's different than having just a bag of powder that is one one zip seal away from spilling everywhere. <laughs> and also looking kind of sketchy, I guess. Um, I suppose capsules could look a little sketchy, but at the same time, you're allowed to bring like any pill on the airplane in like unlimited amounts. So bringing capsules of something, whether it's turmeric or kratom, I don't know how much of a difference it should make, except for the fact that it's turmeric and then it's kratom. <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, um, you might as well be careful, right? I'm, of course, going to be careful. I did check the rules. It should all be good. I think it's all kosher. So I, I'm going to go for it. And, you know, I'll let you all know how it goes. I'm doing it for work. It's a work trip. And I'm not going to bring an absurd amount of capsules either. It's going to be just like a handful and I probably won't use all of them, but I do think that they'll be useful and uh, I'm going to bring just some. So anyway, it's kind of like an age old problem though, right? Because we're always trying to talk about online. You see all these forums, talk, people talking about, should I bring it here? Should I bring it there? I've done a few episodes on this. Like when it comes to like international travel, I don't even bother. I don't even bother trying. I don't even bother looking into it. I just don't do it because I don't see it as worthwhile. But um, but within the U.S., as long as I'm flying from one state to another or one place to another where it's completely legal, I think that it's fine and that there's no risk, except, except, and this is actually good to think about, hadn't thought about this, if there's bad weather and the flight gets redirected. That's interesting. Think about this one. The flight gets redirected to a state where Kratom's illegal. And for some reason it comes out and someone sees it. Like, like you know, before you even get your bag. Are you in trouble? I think technically, yeah. I think you would be. It's not your fault that the flight's redirected. You weren't planning on bringing it where it's going to be illegal. But there you are. You're sitting in a place that's, that, you know, where the Kratom is illegal. And you have that Kratom with you. So what does that mean? Does that mean that you would like go to jail just because? I think it would actually. Wow. So I got to look into that. But this is why it's important to think through things, I think, because I would not have even thought about the fact that it is going to be like not so, you know, such nice weather out today. Who knows? What if the flight's redirected to some other place that where like Kratom is is not legal? What would that mean? Um, 
I would have to get another flight from there. What if I have to change airlines? That means I have to go through the check again. If I have to go through a TSA check again, not because I'm leaving the airport, but because I'm like, you know, I have to go to a different airline or something like that in a different terminal or something, then I've got to bring my Kratom through. In which case you'd have to toss it and not be seen tossing it. Wow. It's so crazy. The fact that you even have to think about that. Anyway, pretty interesting stuff, I guess, but also a common thing that people bring up online. Uh, should I bring this? Should I bring that? Internationally, I don't bother bringing it. Within the country, I don't see much risk in it except for this new one that I hadn't thought about before. So I'll have to rethink it. But as long as it's contained and it doesn't look too sketchy, there's no reason why they should be allowed to take it from you as long as you're flying in you know, out of a state where it's legal and into another state where it's legal, I don't believe there's any laws against it. So I'm going to bank on that, but I also might not do it. I'm going to check the weather. That's what I'll do. Because if for some reason the plane's going to be redirected, that would be a problem. But um, again, interesting legality question for anyone out there who's like a Supreme Court buff or something like that. Maybe you can think through that with me. All right, everyone, let's leave it there. Wish me luck and I will report back tomorrow. Talk to y'all then. Bye-bye.